What should we do today, Arthur? There is a great and terrible serpent in the twelve parts of Cardiff. I say we go forth and kill it, can't we? Oh, who's a good serpent, Teddy Bees? Are you a good serpent? <laughs> <laughs> what a good serpent. Have you seen my altar serpents? <laughs> A blessing upon you, my sons. Thank you, Father. Ah, have you seen my altar? I threw it in the seven last week, and I haven't seen it since. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What does it look like? Oh, it is of a colour that no man can fathom. That altar? Yes, we've seen it. <laughs> ah, yes, that, that altar. We've definitely seen it. And if I shall get a reward, I shall tell you. Mm. What dost thou ask? That you... Reveal to us the serpent which the great and terrible serpent which is in your presence that we may see it. Mm. Let me pray upon it. Greetings! What is this marvel that so great a serpent should come forth with a noise like a calf running to meet its mother? Should be led by a servant of God? With its head bowed, like a slave obeying his master with humble heart and sidelong glance. Should come forth meekly, like a lamb, and yet its neck is like the neck of a bull of seven winters, which the stool can scarcely go round. To my pancakes! <laughs> the serpent, I shall kill it. No, do not not. For it is sent a servant of God, and it has been sent to ravage the sinners who live in the land of Camel. A serpent! I shall banish no, it! No, banish it! You shall not! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does the serpent be apocryphal? Good question. I think it is. <laughs> I don't know why you're looking at me. <laughs> Come, serpent, let us go, for there are sinners in need of destruction. Oh, what a lovely table you have here, Arthur. Oh, my altar! You found it! How oh, wonderful! You're holding this, I beseech thee. Um, Take this lamb, Karen, and take the twelve acres where your altar was found to build your church. Take it by written deed. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>